Hey guys, this is a quick video. I wanted to show you guys how to do some soft body tracking inside of Nuke. This is something that I discovered is like a pretty quick, easy way of being able to track something and place it onto something that's maybe morphing. Uh, this is usually done on like t-shirts or some kind of object like that. Um, let's say you have a shaking hand that's going to be rotating quite a bit and you want to be able to put, you know, some blood on the shaking hand or something like that. This is a pretty quick and easy way of doing this. I just grabbed this footage here and I dropped it in. It's just a hundred frames long. I wanted to walk you guys through like the concept of being able to do like a soft body track inside of Nuke. So we'll go to the first frame here. And the first thing we're going to do is we'll just add in like a smart vector. If you add a smart vector node in, all we need to do really is set the vector detail here to what we're trying to do. I'm going to set it to a decently high number, like a 0.95. And the higher the number is, the more detailed it's going to be. So uh, the closer to uh, perfect that it's going to strive for. And then the only other thing we need to do is hit export right. And it's going to create ourselves a right node here. Now if we go double click on this right node. We can set the file path in which we want to save this. So I'm just going to create a folder called vector smart. And then uh, we'll create another one in he, uh, the file with inside of this. It's just going to be called vector. And I'll give it like a frame number to work with. And it's just going to be EXR files. Okay. Now everything should be good here. I'm going to say create directory so it doesn't have any problems. And then if I hit render, it's going to ask to do the image sequence. And it'll go through the entire image sequence, basically creating a vector for the image that you're feeding through it. And this is essentially analyzing the frames to create vectors for directional blurs, like a direct uh, vectors are basically directional um, uh, numbers with inside of the, uh, the system that understands how something is moving. And it can basically understand all the different objects within your side of your scene depending on how they're moving and if they're moving together or not so what we're doing right now is we're just outputting an image sequence of the hundred frames that i have here where it has him rotating around and turning and such so what we're really trying to do is understand let's say if we wanted to put a logo on his shirt or perhaps do a paint out on his shirt so that way we had to paint something out on his shirt this would be a way of being able to track that surface and not have to worry about any weird warping that's happening because essentially what we're trying to do is get all the fabric of the shirt to move with our track. So now that that is done, what we're going to do is we will go ahead and add in a vector distort. Okay. And this is just going to be piped in below our thing here. And it's going to have this other uh, input that we could do, which is just going to be our source and whatever we want it to place on our shirt. So let's just say, let's go add a merge node in. We're still on the first frame here. Whatever we want to put the shirt on, on this reference frame, it will go throughout the sequence. Now we know our first frame is the reference frame because right here, if I double click on our vector distort, we'll see that reference frame is set to one. We could set this to whatever frame we want. Now, it just so happens on this particular shot, he starts out so close looking to the camera that this is kind of what we're going for. So let's just say I wanted to add in a checkerboard to the front of his chest here. I would just plug that in over here. Now, I'm going to swap this so this is set to A. And then we'll just do like a corner pin. And I'll add a transform on here as well. And let's just say we'll scale this down and uh, let's double click our corner pin here. I'm just going to roughly place this on his chest. Obviously, whatever you're doing, you can take time to make sure it looks great. I'm just going to kind of align this with the chest to make sure that it lines up. And that way we don't have any, it doesn't look weird. As long as it's kind of like in the right orientation is really what I'm going for here. So I'm just going to line that up and then whatever I want to change later, I can actually just plug directly into here. So whatever I do actually is pretty procedural. I can just make any adjustments I want here because essentially what this is going to do is it's going to project from the camera view right now onto those vectors and it's going to distort later into the scene. So right now this is pretty perfect with how it looks as like a square. So make sure that like if you are trying to match something that's already distorted in some weird way, like around his pec or something like that, or maybe his shirt is warping in a different way, 
that you're warping that right now because that's really important that it matches the warp on this particular frame. And then from here on out, it's actually gonna do all the work for us. So great, now that this is done, I don't really care about this merge node, so we're just gonna go ahead and delete it. I'm gonna take this source and plug it into the bottom of our transform because essentially we were only using the merge node as a viewing ability because right now if I go view our distort, we're just going to see our checkerboard. And once I hit the play button, you'll notice that it starts to move and warp. Now, to prove that this actually works, all we have to do now is just add in another merge node. And this merge node, we're just going to plug all the way back into our smart uh, frame range up here, above the smart vectors, and voila. So if I hit the play button now, should be able to see that this moves and tracks perfectly with this shirt with just very little work. But this is a pretty cool, easy way for you to just get like a nice, quick, soft body track, especially if you're just trying to do something pretty simple. You know, if we're just trying to put text up on the screen here, or maybe I think it works really well for having blood on somebody's shirt or something like that. Like this is just an easy way to have like a quick, soft body track with inside of your new comp without using any special plugins or any ex extra outside source programs. So yeah, this is just a quick tutorial. Wanted to show you guys this and uh, hope you enjoy this quick tip. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.